so again, rushing back to Nemos Town, we are going to get the opportunity to be introduced to some of the professional skills that is Echo of Souls crafting. So, the first thing we're going to pick up is cooking, right? Cooking, that's correct. Uh, cooking is one of the uh, hobbies as opposed to a professional skill. So, as you'll see here, you get to learn both of the hobbies. There isn't a restriction in that regard. You can become both a chef as well as a soul expert. Um, there is a restriction on the hardline profession, the real professional skills. So you're going to have to make a choice, but we'll come back to that. For right now, we're just going to introduce you to the very basics of how you learn crafting and how it might be able to help you. So, so let's pick up chefery. Let's pick up chefery. Let's, uh, let's become masters of chefery, or rather neophytes of chefery. Neophytes of chefery. Neophytes of chefery. Achievo. So having uh, traveled to the relevant professional expert in town, you can use them in a variety of ways. First of all, as you saw, we upskilled in the area. We took the craft on to begin with. And now uh, it, the chef is a really good example because they are literally recipes in this regard. So we are going to be able to learn these aspects of the craft. We're going to learn our recipes. We're going to learn our recipes literally. Literally. So, literally. Uh, We've now learned a few of the basic uh, recipes, nothing too flashy. We could be able to see when we open up uh, cooking, you'll be able to see the various things you can make here. So, so we can make a burger, right? We can make a burger. We make a burger? Yeah, I mean, let's, okay. let's, let's have a... Let's actually uh, do the thing. A brief, a brief jump into it. Uh, so we need something from the chef, though. That's right. As well as, being, as well as learning the craft to begin with, as well as learning the aspects of the craft, you'll also need to buy some of the ingredients from the vendor uh, professional craft NPCs. Now, that's not to say you need to buy everything from them. The best stuff will either be dropped, or as we'll see, might come from the other crafts. But we are going to need some very basic stuff from him. Uh, so let's get some bread on board. Uh, let's call up our chefery. And let's see, uh, you'll see that the craftable items you can make, they're sorted by the amount of experience that they'll give you. So something more difficult will obviously give you a greater amount of experience in that skill. Uh, you'll also be able to sort them by whether or not you have the ingredients. Now, that's why we got a bunch of bread, so we can make the simplest thing. So, you can see that you're crafting it now, and you, just like Mama used to make. Uh, so again, another achievement unlocked. So we're really collecting these achievements early on. Yeah. And I mean, I'd say, I'd say your chef's lying to you, buddy. I mean, you're making a gourmet bacon burger with just bread. Delicious. So, <laughs> Delicious bread. I think we're going to have some words with this chef and see if we can maybe make the recipe feel less about slapping bread together and more about making an actual burger because <laughs> this is making me hungry. <laughs> Uh, so in addition, in, a, uh, in addition to having learned our first steps in chefery, having gotten our first recipes and bought our first ingredients, we've also got a quest from the chef for the first time. He wants us to learn a bit more about the other professions, which is really helpful because we want to learn about the other professions anyway. So again, there's, there's another hobby and there's some professions, right? Yes, yeah, so we're going to just briefly take up the other hobby because as I said, there's no restriction. You can take on both of the hobbies. So again, we will be learning the craft to begin with from the professional. And you can pick up your recipes and... Yeah, again, now it's going to vary slightly from profession to profession. They're not literally recipes, yeah. but they're, you know, that is what they are. They're your, your formulas, maybe. Yeah, your you aspects know. of the craft. You'll learn each of them from the professional themselves. You will be able to buy some of, the, some of but not all of the ingredients you need from them. And being a soul expert is kind of unique because soul expert makes use of the souls we collect. Right. So nothing too fancy in this case, but to make like a simple whole of, a simple soul of pride, yeah. you use the souls that you've refined exactly. as an ingredient. Yeah. So this is the first uh, this is the first time we're coming across ways to use the purified souls we encountered earlier on. Uh, you'll be able to craft uh, you'll be able to craft increasingly complex items. Okay. But what you'll see when we talk to another one of the professions is how and why the crafting works. Yeah. Okay, so this is a profession, right? Jewelry. Yeah. And how many professions are there? There are three professions. You are limited to one at a time. So it's a little bit more important that you think about what you're going to want to make, what you're going to want to specialize in. Um, you can drop the profession later if you choose your mind, but you will lose the experience you put in. So we want uh, you. I'm, I would be more careful uh, about choosing for myself. I mean, if you want to, if you want to get, if you want to max out all of the professions, yeah, 
that's that's going to be a pretty tall order. Tall <laughs> order. <laughs> and I'd be so impressed if on one character, yeah, someone had man managed to max out all of the professions. Yeah, we should keep an eye out. We should uh, we should give a prize to somebody who manages to max out all the professions. Uh, here again, I'm going to learn to be a jeweler. Profession not chivo. Uh, this becomes my one and only profession that I can take, but it is going to be ultimately really rewarding. Uh, again, we learn the aspects of the craft, a recipe, if you will, a recipe for some jewelry. Uh, and then you'll be able to see in the professional skills what your low level crafting will uh, ascend into. Uh, jewelers will be able to make some of the most powerful okay. accessories in the game. Uh, Alchemists will be making you some really powerful potions. I mean, they're going to be more powerful than the ones you can get in the shop. They might be more powerful than the ones that drop. Uh, there's always going to be a benefit to crafting. It's going to give you better stuff, but it's not just as simple as spamming the recipes, picking up the stuff. There's an interdependence we see between the professional skills in Echo of Soul. And that's because of the next, the next class in particular is like the biggest example of that. That's yeah. the resource collector, right? Yeah, this is, for me, it seemed like a really interesting dynamic, a really interesting break with tradition almost. If you want to be able to harvest the nodes out in the world, you need to be a resource collector. That is a craft in and of itself. Uh, it seemed a little strange to me at first but when I learned more about how the jewelers and the alchemists and the soul experts interact to create these really high level items. It makes perfect sense. Uh, they're going to rely on the resource collectors to be able to get the high level mats. The resource collectors are going to be able to sell these for a lot of money. And that would open up a trade market because right. Either as a resource, as maybe say I'm a high level resource collector, yeah. suddenly I have a lot of sway when it comes to an, maybe an alchemist and a jeweler both vying for my materials. Yeah. I'm in the position of power and I'm making them pay through the roof. Yeah, so the, I mean, there's balance in everything in Echo of Soul. If you're a resource collector, yeah. you can't make anything yourself per se, but then again, no one can really make the good stuff or anything below, below, above a certain level without you. So, and I think that's one of the nice things, there's these professions that work off each other and encourage cooperation, so mm -hmm. whether you're rolling three characters with three different professions and going down the route of just being hardcore into Master professions, profession uh, or coordinating with your guild and using your guild bank to its like, maximum effectiveness, yeah. there's so many different ways to, to build into this market, but for me, I don't like professions. I know you don't and like it. I like raids, I like yeah. end game content, I like PvP, I like running dungeons. Yeah. So for me, I'm really glad that I can enjoy the game and collect good gear yeah. in a different means. And like we'll see later when we run a dungeon, uh, through different avenues than just the sort of professional windows. Yeah, even if you're out, if you're running dungeons or you're monster hunting, you're going to be picking up all sorts of ingredients. Uh, ingredients that each of the crafts need. If you're running dungeons, then you're going to get really high level materials. Uh, you're not going to need them because you don't like crafting. But you're going to be able to sell them for a lot of coin. You're going to be able to market them. You're going to be able to maybe liaise with a jeweler and say, hey, I want this amazing accessory because I'm going to go running raids. I will give you this high level material in exchange. So there's, there's, there's options no matter how you want to play. Yeah. And I find that's one of the nicest ways and one of the nicest things about Echo of Soul is that regardless of whether you're into PvE or PvP, you can level up through both. Yeah. And it's not just always about handing in quests and going from quest to quest, but I can gain a lot of experience in a dungeon, or I can gain experience even through crafting. Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna be at an advantage from crafting or not from crafting, but the final point we should cover on crafting is not only does your professional skill increase as you level it, as we put a tiny little bit of experience already on our chosen uh, crafts, you can also gain character XP through crafting. So if you spend a lot of time crafting, making the materials, you're not just making a monetary gain, you're actually leveling your character as you go along as well. Cool. <laughs>